Hi, welcome to this tutorial. And this time we're gonna deal with the 10 top tips in Windows 10. A lot of T's there. Notice the 10, play on 10, 10 top tips with Windows 10. <laughs> I'll move on. Uh, now we've got a screen here basically, um, my old little laptop here. And the first tip is dragging windows to the edges and to the corners. So I have a Word document here and I have Windows um, Explorer open here. So what I can do is if I want to dock them, I can drag one to the right, you see it's docked. I've got other documents here. I'm gonna click on Word and you can see that's docked to the left-hand side. If I want to, I can dock it to the corner. So if I click and drag and I drag it up to the top left-hand corner, you can then see I can have my Excel down here. Now running out of screen space here, if I in fact double click on the ribbon here, I can just get myself some extra screen space there, but drag in windows, one of the fantastic tips. Okay, for the second tip, we're gonna look at scrolling through inactive windows. So what do I mean by that? So I'm just gonna drag Windows Explorer, drag it to the right hand side. I've got Word and I've got uh, Windows Explorer. So I'm working on this long Word document here and I just want to go and scroll through this. You see what I can do here? I can just swap between one and the other. I don't have to click, I can just scroll. The windows don't have to be ac accurate. Scrolling through inactive inac windows, i.e. windows that aren't selected. That's the second top tip for Windows 10. The third tip is the search facility. Most people, when they are looking for something, they'll say, okay, I've got it on my computer somewhere and I might click on this here and I might go to the applications and they might go up and down and they might search for them there. Do you know what? It's best off clicking on the Windows search bot, uh, the Windows button and just typing what you're looking for. So if I type in computer tutoring, I can find a folder on computer tutoring, give it a click and then I have a new Windows, but, uh, new um, Windows Explorer window open that I can access all of my different folders. The fourth tip when it comes to Windows 10 is using Task View. So what is Task View? Well, you may have noticed a lovely new button down the bottom left hand side of Windows just here. So there's this one just here. So that is your Task View. So what your Task View is, just checking it's recording, so it allows you to go back in time. So you can just go and start scrolling back through different uh, time here, click on different documents. So you've got now, and I've already got all the way back to the 16th of June to see what I was doing here. Um, yeah, not too much, how to delegate access into your inbox there. So there we go. So that's our fourth tip, that's using task view. Uh, great to, if you can remember when you save something, but you can't remember where you saved it. Hi, welcome to uh, the next tip. Uh, the next tip is tip number five, I think we're on. So this is tip number five, create an alternate desktop. We well, might have known when you click on the task view button just down here, that you've got desktop one and I've got desktop two here. So you've got two desktops. Let me close down the second desktop here. If I click on new desktop, what I can do is I can then decide to drag things or programs that I've got currently open. Let me just go back here to the new desktop. So I've got Excel open here. I'm just gonna drag that to my new desktop. And that's great. I can click on that desktop and I can manage it. This is particularly good if you've got different types of windows and programs and files open on the same desktop and you wanna change the layout. So say for instance, I click on my Windows Explorer here. I've got one here. I'm just gonna click on it again. Um, let me just swap between the desktops. Let's go back to this button here. Uh, so it can go to swap between the desktop. I'm just gonna drag this. Windows Explorer up over here, that's great. And so I've got this on the desktop, drag this to the left, Windows Explorer to the right, and just to muck around with it a little bit, here we go. Brilliant. So you can see, basically, we can now swap between the desktops. Now I can either hold, do, do that by pressing this task view button at the bottom here, or I can hold down the Windows key and tab and it will take me back and I can click on the different desktops at the top, as you can see here. Alternatively, I can do Alt, and the windows, sorry, not alt, uh, control, that's it. I didn't mean it's control and the windows key. Okay, and I can press right and left so I can swap between the desktops. If I need another desktop, I don't wanna do so quickly. Control, Windows, D, we'll do another desktop. I'm ready to start working, you know, I could go to Google if I wanted. I could start looking and searching different websites such as computer tutoring, which is at the end of the day what we're doing here and you can view the different sites and things like that. Oh, look, we're closed, aren't we? Great, and we can view the different sites there. So, uh, let me just zoom in a little bit, control on the wheel of my mouse, brilliant. This is tip number six. 
Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Tip number six here. So we're going to shake a little bit. So what do I mean by that? So say, for instance, I've got a window open here. In fact, let's go back to another desktop. I've got this Excel window. I just want to concentrate on this. I can shake the window. The other windows disappear. I can shake the window. That Windows um, Window Explorer, File Explorer window appears in the background. Here we go. So if I just want to click and shake, I can get rid of, I can shake. So there we go. Tip number six, shaking the windows. Hi, this is tip number seven. Okay, so tip number seven is customizing the start menu. So when you click on this button just down here, you can customize the start menu. You can see the different start menus, different programs, and you can see it might look very tiny on mine. It might look a complete mess on yours. So what do we do about it? Well, you know what? We can click and I can drag these little buttons around a little bit just to make them a little tidier if I wanted to here. Drag other ones down the bottom here like so, and I've got my pictures uh, there so we can create them. You can also got different groups that are available as well. So if I click on the button here, I can click and I've got uh, various groups in, that are available if I wanted to. If I drag this one down here like so, it then creates a new group and I can create another group uh, down here as well. So there we go. So there's Windows tip number seven, customize your start menu. Just one thing about the start menu, tip number seven, we're still on there. I just want to add thing, you can almost pin anything you want to that start menu. So what I mean by that, so say I'm on OneDrive here, I'm into my computer tutoring folder and I want all brochures, banners and cheat sheets. What I can do is I can right click on that and then I can click on pin to start. So when I go to my start menu, if I scroll down, there it is here. So I can drag it up and every time I want to go to this folder, I can click once on it and then it'll open up that particular folder. I'm ready to go. Fantastic. This eighth, one, two, no, it's not eighth. Can I count? I don't know if I can count or not, but this is tip number eight, restart Explorer. So you know what happens is you're going along, your computer gets tired and you just feel, you know, I need to do a restart. Well, you might not want to restart it completely. You might just want to run, uh, restart Windows Explorer. What do I mean by that? Well, look on the screen here. This is Windows Explorer, see? Bit of shaking. Uh. Shaking didn't work as much as I should. There we go. There we go. That's Windows Explorer. So what I do is go down to my taskbar, right click, and then I go to Task Manager. And then under Processes, if I look down, I can see there's two instances of Windows Explorer here. So what I do, I click on that, click on Restart, and it will restart Windows Explorer. Give it all a bit of a clean, fresh start, nice break, makes it all start nice and new. Well, you get the idea. So there we go. So that's tip number eight. I learned to count, restart Windows Explorer. Let's close that one down, shall we? Tip number nine, customizing your default app associations. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, say for instance, if I click on Windows Explorer just down here, I'm just gonna just have a, say for instance, I go into my OneDrive, my computer tutoring, and if I go into my images, all of these images by default will open in a particular program. If you double click it, it will open them up. So uh, you, what you can do is you can right click and go to open with, and then you can choose the standard programs that you get in your computer here. If you are absolutely, if you look here and you see, oh my goodness, my, the program that I want is not there, you can choose another app and then you can browse through the different types of applications as well. There's an option there for more apps and then that will then open up a window uh, here. Oops, if I can look for another app on this PC. There we go, it opens up a window and then you can have a quick browse through all of the different programs and you can choose the application to open your file. Control indeed. So that was tip number nine. So tip number nine. Tip number 10. So number 10 tip is using the power user menu. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, in the old version of Windows, you got that. So it was Windows key and X. So Windows key and X. So if I have Windows key, press X, and you get this menu just up here, and you've got your task manager settings, you go straight to File Explorer, you can go to Run if you need to, you can get to your device manager, so you can see all of the wonderful devices that your computer has, and that horrible exclamation mark, do you remember that little exclamation mark, oh, I don't think I've got any of those on here, let's have a look down here, oh no, 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 that's fine, absolutely great. So there we go. There we have our 10 top tips for Windows 10. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you've got anything out of this, click on the like button and please just keep watching. There's going to be more and more and more videos coming. Thanks a lot. Bye now.